Union men, my ass. You want to be treated like men? You want to be treated fair? Well, you ain't men to that coal company. Your equipment, like a shovel, a gondola car, a hunk of wood brake. They use you until you wear out or you break down or you bury it under a slate fall, and then they'll get a new one. And they don't care what color it is or where it comes from. It doesn't matter how much coal you can load or how long your family has lived on this land. If you stand alone, you're just so much shit to those people. You think this man is your enemy? Huh? This is a worker. Any union keeps this man out ain't a union. It's a goddamn club. Now, they got you fighting white against colored, native against foreign, holler against holler. When you know there ain't but two sides of this world, them that work and them that don't. You work, they don't. That's all you got to know about the enemy. You say you got guns. Well, I know that you all are brave men. And I know you could shoot it out with the company if you had to. But the coal company don't want this union. The state government don't want it. The federal government don't want it. And they're all of them just waiting for an excuse to come down and crush us to nothing. Fellas, we're in a hole full of coal gas here. The tiniest spark at the wrong time is going to be the end of it. So we got to pick away at this situation, slow and careful. We got to organize and build support. We got to work together, together, till they can't get their coal out of the ground without us because we're a union. Because we're the workers, damn it, and we take care of each other. How can we shut the mines down if we don't dynamite them? The men walk out. All of them. Fat chance. And every man that walks out on his own steam, we take into the union. All the day goes and all the colors. That's what a union is, fellas. You better get used to it. <laughs> 